Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 2021 and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Elements tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to adjust your audio settings. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film unboxing videos of cool new gear that I get for filmmaking and photography. If I ever go someplace cool, I'm definitely gonna film a vlog about it. If I have any DIY projects around the house, usually assembling Ikea furniture, I'll film those too. And if I ever do any projects to the Tesla, I'll film those and put them on the channel too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below and smash that subscribe button. So in today's video, I wanna show you how to adjust the audio levels within your Adobe Premiere Elements video project so that all of the levels remain the same so that you're not surprising your audience with a super loud smash of a piece of glass or possibly you have a scenario where you've mixed a couple tracks together and one's a little bit louder than the other track. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to adjust all of the levels in one of the projects that I've made to show you how easy it is to kind of get everything sounding the same level, plus give you a couple tips and tricks that I use when I publish my videos to YouTube. So let's head over to the computer to Adobe Premiere Elements and get started. All right, so here we are inside of the Adobe Premiere Elements software, and I have a previous project all loaded up, ready to go. And let me know what you think about the audio quality. Fifine was nice enough to send me their brand new K78 USB microphone. So I'm super stoked to be using that now for my tutorial videos. So if you like the new audio quality that comes from this mic and you wanna pick one up for yourself, I will definitely put a link in the description below. So let's get started with today's tutorial and adjust the audio levels within your project. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to the left hand side here and make sure that these little arrows, they're expanded because right now they're collapsed. So now you can see I have some audio there. So I'm just gonna go down and expand all of my audio settings so that I have a full view of the levels. So oftentimes what will happen is you will put something into your video that was recorded either with a different camera or it's an intro or you downloaded some music from a partner like Epidemic Sound. Link in the description below if you wanna check them out. So here you can see these are the levels and you can see there's also a yellow line. So what we wanna do is adjust the yellow line, which is the level. So there's a couple different ways to do this. First thing you wanna do is zoom in on the audio that you want adjusted. So what we're gonna do here is focus on this piece right here. So this is my intro. So my intro is filmed a little differently than my videos are and it's actually a little bit louder. So I usually turn the volume of my intro down. So if I wanna lower the audio level of this clip, I can right click on it, go to clip, head down to audio gain. And as you can see here, I already have this set to minus three. So that lowers the volume so that when I export, this intro is not louder than the rest of my video. Another way that you can do this is you can actually just grab on to this yellow line here and you can move it up and down. And you'll see on the screen, it says 3.99 decibels or minus six decibels. So I had it set to minus three, so I can just kind of drag it back to minus three or minus 4.68, and that will lower the volume. So that's a simple way to adjust the volume settings within your clip so that it matches the volume settings of the other clips within your timeline. Another neat little feature that you can do is if you're fading in from one video to another video, or maybe you're introducing a new track, is to right click on your clip and add a little fade. So you can see fade in audio, and you can see it actually adjusted the yellow line. So if you wanna make some more adjustments to the fade, like maybe you want the fade a little bit longer, you can click on this here and you can actually drag it. And as we go up and down, that also changes the level of the track. So very simple, easy to do, adjust the audio settings within your timeline, either by using the handles within the yellow line or moving the entire line itself, or the good old right click, click on, clip, go to audio gain, 
and you are good to go. So there you have it. A not so difficult way to level all of the audio settings in your video project. If you wanna see more Adobe Premiere Elements videos, make sure you head down below and smash that subscribe button. And if you like this video, while you're down there, hit the like button too. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy out there.